What's going on YouTube? This is the Dark Lord Destro, man of the video. This was something that has popped in my head occasionally for a while and and it came up recently again as I was driving home from work. And you know, the, the new Xbox One X is coming out in a few weeks, next month or so. And it had me thinking. You know, and the question I have for you all is, is it worth even buying or purchasing a new system anymore and the reason why I ask that question is because I sit back and I think about myself you know I purchased an Xbox one in March of 2015 I owned it for six months and I sold it in September that following year and the reason why I sold it was mainly because it was just sitting here collecting dust and I had no use for it I found myself still playing Xbox 360 more than anything. And as I've said before in a previous video, the only time I really used my Xbox One was to watch <laughs> uh, YouTube or SFL videos, games. And I remember when my daughter came up to visit me, I had the Xbox One in the bedroom to watch TV or Netflix, what have you. And then she was in the living room or in her room using the Xbox One to watch her videos. So it was like, what's the purpose of even having an Xbox One? And I sit back, I look at some of the games that are out. Now granted, I pretty much focus on one game the majority of the time, so my opinions could be, is my view may be jaded. But I sit here and I look at the games that are out. And maybe I'm getting older now, I'm 40, I'll be 41 next month. So that might be a factor, but it seemed like these games just aren't appealing to me. And I, I think back to back in the day. Let's go back to games, role-playing games like Fantasy Star, Final Fantasy, Dragon Warrior. And to go back and play those games, they were complicated. And they were a little hard. They were tricky. We didn't have manuals and cheats sheets and all that told you hey look behind this bush and you'll find a secret item here you had to basically spend hours upon hours upon hours just searching randomly you know just knock up hitting your sword up against a wall or doing something to where you try to find something that was secret something that was hidden and you, you didn't have an arrow or you didn't have a manual or some guide on the screen telling you to, to do this do that, go here, go there. You didn't have that. But now you look at the games that are out now, they pretty much tell you. Uh, one game that sticks out is Mass Effect series. Now, I love Mass Effect, the, all three games. I think it's great storylines, great, great storytelling. The problem is it told you what to do. Uh, if, I, if I remember correctly, Knights of Old Republic was another one to where it basically told you what to do. And it seems like the games now aren't worth the money, first of all. And two, they're just, it's almost like they're half-assing it. And then the crazy part is they're putting out a 65, 75% completed game. They charge you full price. And then they want to charge you more money for the remaining 25 to 35% of the game. So you want me to drop $60 for a 75% completed game. Then for me to get the rest of the game, I got to spend anywhere between $20 to $100 to get. That's just insane, and, and it's just, I don't know. It's just, it just makes me want to say, you know what? And as I said before, it, just lean, it makes me want to lean towards computer gaming because at least when it comes to them spending the extra money, it's justifiable versus, you know, a console, you know, with the, with the downloadable content, and I just don't see it. I don't see the value in it. You know, I remember when Destiny came out, and... I had it, and then for thirty-five dollars, you bought that very first that the expansion pack. I can't remember what it was called, Taken King, or whatever. I can't remember. Uh, my girlfriend's mother got me a thirty-five dollar gift card for Xbox, and so I was able to use it to purchase that thing. But I wouldn't have purchased it had it not been for her giving me that gift. I just don't see. I just don't see the meaning, or I don't see the purpose of. Okay, I've already spent all my money for the game, or not all my money, but you know what I'm saying. You spent the money for the game, and then now they spend more money to finish the game? I think that's uh, thoroughly ridiculous. 
And so, you know, tell me what you guys think, because like I said, some of the games are easier now. It seems like they're half-assing it. They want full price for mediocre slash unfinished games. And this is one of the reasons why, one of the reasons why I'm still stuck playing a 10-year-old football game. I can hex it, I can tweak it, do what I need to do, and it'll satisfy me. You know, it's like I don't need all these new bells and whistles and new glitches. And the way I see it, I see these, these new machines, I look at them and say, well, they don't look that much better than the old ones. I look at Metal Gear Solid 5 on the on the Xbox One and I got on the on the Xbox 360, I'm like, okay, it's a little bit shinier, a little bit more a tad bit of detail, but I'm content, I'm satisfied playing the 360 version. Why would I need to buy the Xbox One version? And so this new Xbox One coming out, and you know, PS4's got their uh their system that just came out. And you know, I watched the review tech USA's videos to see what the new stuff's going that's coming out and I'm just not impressed. I just think that I would be surprised in 10 years, consoles will be gone, if not in five years. So, guys, tell me what you think. Talk to y'all later. Peace.